Hey folks, this is Danny. We're back here at the ranch. I often get asked what we do up here. I thought it may be neat to put a video together just show y'all some of the things we do. So uh, if you want to tag along, let's get started. One thing that's for certain around this place is there's always something breaking. And uh, we spend a lot of time just fixing things, repairing, and today's no exception. A couple weeks ago, we tried to mow the barnyard here. It's not a very big area, maybe a quarter of an acre. And uh, the Cub Cadet lawn tractor wouldn't start. So I determined it was a starter that had gone bad. I sent Rhea to the town. To, she went for, by, uh, I guess, what, two or three places to uh, find one. And uh, we ended up having to order it. And we picked it up this morning. Right here is the old one. We got the new one in stock. You would think we was trying to buy toilet paper the way we had to hunt for this. But anyhow, I'm fixing to install this, see if we can't get the Cub Cadet running again and uh, get this place cleaned up. the lawn tractor started uh, it looks like it's fixing to start raining here unfortunately so we're gonna go ahead and check on cattle and feed them and uh, make sure everything's sound uh, let's go get loaded up for some feed This here is our uh, breeding bull. He's a uh, Angus. I guess he's a uh, coming four year old, Rhea. Yeah, coming four year old. We've got him in a pen up front here right now. Uh, we'll turn him out this next month to breed the cows. But uh, we picked him up from Triple Sun Farms over in Centerville, Texas. I believe they have another location uh, in Cutoff, Louisiana. Uh, right now, he's been working out real well for us, throwing us some uh, really nice calves, and uh, he starts work next. So our ranch here is uh, just outside of Madisonville, East Texas. Um, you'll hear me often talk about uh, in these videos, uh, I'm going to head to the back. This is the front pasture up here. And if you can see this wood line back here, it's a creek that splits our property. So that's why I'm always referring 
you know, going back past the creek is, uh, is where the rest of the property's at. But these here are some of our uh, Brangus cattle. Uh, just give you a little background info on us. Uh, for about 14 years, we raised uh, bucking bulls, rodeo. And uh, we decided about three years ago to uh, sell off the buck bucking stock and get into the beef cattle and we chose the Brangus. So uh, we've got a couple fall calves out here. These are some younger cows that we're keeping separate from uh, the older cows in the back. And uh, come next month, uh, we'll put them all together and turn the bull out on them. So we're going to head to the back now and uh, feed them and check on those new calves that we have on the ground and uh, see how things are going back there. this mule is hers so when she's up here she drives it and I catch the gates so last month I traded in the Ram and I got me a new Silverado Duramax one ton four-wheel drive single rear wheels uh, it's good to be back in the Chevy I had one for 10 years that I drove and I thought I'd give Ram a shot Everybody has their preference. Mine just happens to be a Chevy. Get back. These are some of our this year calves, born January, February. See in the background there where hogs are rooted up right there. Anyway, these cows here, like I said, are a little older. They were all bred, so we put them back here in the back. Mudcat here, he's the last rodeo bull that uh, we have. He's not a bull anymore, we made him a steer, but he's gonna live out his life here. He's a 2008 model, so he's 12 years old. And uh, he was the first bull that really made us any money. And he's so gentle that uh, we just decided to keep him around. What do you say, Mudcat? While we're back here, I put a trail camera out uh, last weekend. So we're gonna pull the SD card on it, swap it out, and see if uh, we can figure out if there's any pattern as to what time uh, these hogs are coming in here. Tonight I plan on doing a little night hunt again. And uh, hopefully we'll get lucky like we did last weekend. All right, we'll talk to you soon. So I put this uh, trail camera out last weekend right over this uh, area where they're coming through the fence. Can you show them that, Rhea? So I'm gonna swap out the SD card and we'll go back up in a minute and uh, take a look at it, see what we've got. So the Cub Cadet's running well. Looks like we'll get another season out of it. I was just looking around here. It seems like everything we have is old. Uh, that's a 2007 model. The trailer there is 2007. The tractor is about a 2005. Anyhow, we just keep them running. Bree and I had this pond put in two years ago, last year, the spillway, which is over there in the far corner, it washed out. So we had a guy come in here and repair it. 
pond's full now. We were just out here checking on it, see how it looked. We're going to get ready to go into town, eat dinner tonight, and come back and uh, see if I can't get a little hog hunt on. These cows follow us everywhere we go. What you doing, Mama? Hey guys, we're back here in the back, fixing to get uh, set up for the evening hunt. Not sure how this is gonna work out tonight. All the cows are right over there where I need to be. Uh, they get kind of nosy as to what's going on, so. We're gonna ease across this hay field and get set up and hopefully some hogs will come in tonight and I could pop one for y'all. Wish me luck, here we go. Hey guys, we're in position right now. Just waiting on it to get dark. Not quite sure how it's gonna work out tonight. The cows are just to my left. Let me turn here. Hopefully they'll just keep grazing, moving on over. But we're gonna sit here a couple of hours, see if we see if we see something. Hopefully uh, I can get me popping one tonight like I did last weekend. We we'll talk to y'all soon. Bye. Appreciate you.